People come here just for me. How is everything? That's terrible. I'm sorry. They love my food and, and everything is great. It was raw. I've just arrived. Yeah, I'm starving. I'm going to have some lunch and then we'll talk after you. Yeah, I want to cook them a great meal and I'm going to let them find other problems in the restaurant besides mine because I don't think mine's a problem. Crab cakes plus filet mignon with gorgonzola medium rare and a shrimp ravioli. Right down. I just love what I do. This is perfect. My food is good, and if he critiques it like I've seen him critique other people's food, I'm going to probably throw it at him. <laughs> what is that? The crab cake. Mango. Somebody spit on my plate? What is that on there? That's coolie mango sauce. Oh, coolie mango. Thank you. Is that something out of the modern art museum? Splat. OK. Wow. That's fucking disgusting. He's rancid. Plastic bits of crap running through the crab cakes. Is everything OK? Uh, yeah, the chef sent out a little surprise. I've got bits of plastic running through there. See the plastic? I don't know where it came from, but it's definitely in there. But I I'm done with that. Thanks. OK. Severe warning for what's to come. Eric, you found a piece of plastic in there. Where's that from? Hello, man. Fuck him. I have no idea where that plastic came from. Just happened to appear. I don't even have plastic in my kitchen. Oof. How'd you like the steak? Um, quite tough. Are they always served with raw onions or? Yeah. Nah. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, you said the beef's a little tough. Just fucking get out of here. There's nothing positive being said. I don't really suck that bad, you know? Go oh dear. That looks like the biggest pile of shit ever to be served in Queens. My God. The raviolis are disgusting, tart, tannin, and just a mouthful of acidic, thick, rich, creamy sauce that tastes like there's a buzz in your mouth. It just seemed like Chef Ramsay didn't like anything. Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, dear. This is really bad. The food was shit. I get a lot of compliments, man. A lot. A lot of compliments from where? The place is fucking empty. Who's running the place? For the most part, I am. Oh, please. First of all, I'm here every day. You're not here every day. I'm not here enough to mother him, but I am here. He should be here, but he's not doing it. If you're here really overseeing everything, then these problems aren't going to be here. So get your ass off the bar stool and stand in here and do it every single night. Can you motivate yourself to want to keep the restaurant open? I don't know. But he's given up. I see that myself here. Yeah. I've given up. Guys, I'm fucking sorry, but take one good look at yourselves first. If there's one thing that has to change, it's people's attitude around here. Whether you like it or not, you are restaurateurs. You have the fucking responsibility of making this place work. Yep. But there's too many people turning their back on things that are wrong. What are those? Tamales. Oh, the tamales. Yeah. They're the frozen. Ah. So these are your chimichangas. Are they frozen as well? Yeah. Frozen. Wow. When was all this made? Two months. Oh, my God. Can you get me Laura, please? Yes, yes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. What? Come round, come round. Don't run, not in the kitchen. Here's the thing. Your serving chicken that was cooked nearly two months ago. Defrosting it and then reheating it. And are you wondering why it's dry? Were you aware of this or? This is what we did for catering. Unbelievable. That may be why the place is struggling. Where are the freezers? The freezers there. Oh my god. Oh, tortillas. I hope everything's right in there, the shelving and all the food. Oh my god. You're joking, aren't you? Look at all this stuff here. Bloody hell. This is unbelievable. Look at that. This is what we did for catering. You must have hundreds of portions of stock here. He just kept grabbing and grabbing and stacking my arms with it. All this pre-cooked, pre-rolled, frozen, then defrosted is just absolutely appalling. This is not a restaurant. You are mad. I've got to wash my hands. Fucking stink. What a day. Lunch was disappointing. Dinner was 
Shocking. It started off with defrost and serve, followed by defrost and serve, followed by defrost and serve. You're running a factory. Boom, boom. It's mass produced. Treating food like a processing plant. Perla, is that quality what you cook? Mm. Did you honestly think that serving defrosted food slopped out was going to make you a success? I did well at catering with it. You have driven away more customers than you could ever imagine. I was shocked. Everything was gone. My freezer was empty. My walk-in refrigerator was empty. I had no idea what was happening. Oh, my God. To show the enormity of the amount of frozen food, oh. Gordon has not only removed it from the freezer, but has left it on display in the restaurant. I was completely floored. I had just the sinking feeling in my stomach. Look at this shit. What's going on there? <laughs> oh, they've gone green. Jesus. Look, he's got his Mexican sombrero on. <laughs> Rice. Chimichangas. Five dozen. Ten dozen. Twelve dozen. Ouch. And this isn't a catering business? I didn't know it was this bad last night. Here's what concerns me more than anything. These are from last year. August and July. Last year? What the fuck's going on? I'm shocked. I can see why. Have a good look. I'm gonna wash my hands. It fucking stinks. How are you? Oh, Gordon, oh, nice to so see you, my darling. Oh, the big question for me is, you had a restaurant. Yes. Yeah, we started a diner. So then you sell them, you go into retirement. Right. Mm -hmm. Why would you come out of retirement to buy another restaurant? We wanted to do this as a family. Yeah. My daughter, Cheryl, and myself. Would you like to meet Cheryl? Please. Cheryl! Hello. Hello. Good to meet you. Good to Likewise, meet you as well. Is... Now, do you just pop over for a slice of cake? No, I live here. You live here? <laughs> yes. How old are you? I'm 42 years old. Same age as me. I left mum 24 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what are you still doing here? I haven't had a paycheck in two years. I have to live home. My daughter, Cheryl, she's still living with us. But she doesn't bring anyone home. No guys. Forget that. OK. Ooh, fuck me. What the fuck? Nah, stuck. Are you trying to get the smoke detectors to come No, I'm trying to get the thing off the top. <laughs> A world-known chef spit out my food is not good. Tiki platter, shitty platter. We need Bill ready to carve a play. Tell my father to put his, his black chef coat on. Yeah. Cheryl wants you to put your black chef coat on. Next, Philly Mignon. So I'm sort of looking forward to a really nice, classic piece of meat. Show you where it is. Strip down, baby. I'm not looking. I'm getting excited. We have a flaming filet mignon that I serve tableside. People just love it. The chef's dream, filet mignon. Mm. Something simple, something classic, and something that's not normally served on a trolley. <laughs> what is that thing? These are roof tile. Reading it from the tile. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. It's still cooking. You'll love this. Yeah, you'll I love, love this. this. What's that in there? This is butter and garlic. Oh, garlic butter. Uh huh. It goes on top. And so the tsunami is the garlic butter running down the drain pipe. Right. <laughs> Watch out! All the stuff dripping out the end. <laughs> wow. You enjoy that. Thank you very much. Quite welcome. Wow. Me. Mm. That's the toughest and the most chewiest filet mignon I've ever.
tasted in my entire life. The thing's so chewy. Is it's it chewy? The, the meat is so tough. Do you uh, want me to? Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I finished it. Take this out of your yeah, way. Thank you, okay. Chef Ramsay hated the food, he hated the decor, and I can't understand why. What name? Her. Her. All right, you can follow me. When the dinner start coming in, just start throwing some asparagus on, put it on the side. The menu's large. The menu's a little all over the joint. It is. You know, really big. I don't have time to rename this. It's got a lot of things on it. Tonight's dinner service is busier than usual because Chef Ramsay is in town. You ready to order? And as customers order from this massive menu... I'll have the green beans, green tilapia. Okay. Tickets are flying into the kitchen. Here we go. Calamari marinara. But the challenge to perfect such a huge variety of dishes is overwhelming for Chef Brian. I, I don't even know what to do. Absolute crazy, you know that? Yeah, huh? yeah. Got way too many tickets up there. Can't have 400 things on your menu. You just can't do it. I don't care who you are. Doesn't matter. We're absolutely buried over here. Buried. We don't even have these set up yet. Unbelievable. Although Chef Brian is slammed in the kitchen. It's like, a, it's like a circus over here. The customers are not exactly sympathetic. Nice drink. See what's going on back there. We've been here since 6 Well, I can't do it. They're all waiting the well, same amount. You might to say something. You know? Like, we know. Shut your mouth already. Absolute crazy. Adele's attitude is completely toxic, and it trickles down from us to the patrons. God, it's so narrow. Look at this place. From one table to the next. Huh? Oof. God, they're grimy. Oh, shit. That's depressing. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Entree comes with sound effects. Maybe he'll blow me away with the food because the atmosphere... Mm. My God, it's depressing. Amazing Bazzini's risotto. Ooh, wow, well, that's extraordinary, no? Doesn't even move. Well, maybe that'll look better up there. Yeah. It fits the colours. Absolutely disgusting. So, you don't look too impressed. I just taste of mush. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. My pleasure. I'll bring you some tilapia next. Mm -hmm. Nah, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like it? <laughs> too mushy. There is a classic, you know, way to do it, but some people around here just don't like it that way, you know? My ego is not here to hear that Gordon Ramsay loved the dishes or didn't like the dishes. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about what I do and how, what the product that, that I put out. It's all yours, Alex. All right, here we go. Thank you. Almond crusted tilapia, jasmine rice with some pepper. Hopefully you enjoy it. Wow. Look at that. Oh, boo. Huh? I love the jasmine rice. He has to like the jasmine rice. Hmm. It's just so bland, honestly. I mean, it's just greasy, bland, and you cut into the fish and it's just mush. Now, how is the tilapia coming along? Hmm? We making some forward progress here? Yeah, no, I'm, do you know what? I'm, uh, I'm still hungry. Um, do you have something in mind? Uh, any desserts? Certainly. Sharon, our dessert chef, makes everything. I've got, got a carrot cake. Oh, wow. Should be a New York cheesecake. Do you know what? I have a little slice of the cheesecake and the carrot cake. Done. Please. Yes, cheesecake, carrot cake, tilapia, no go. Fish was bland. Watery. Fish was bland? Again, we're, we're kind of like, we have an older clientele here. They like nod to assertive okay. things. Right. How could I think that Paul did a good job? You know, if he did a good job, Chef Ramsay would have said the food was great. You know, he didn't say that, so Paul didn't do a good job. We'll start right here with the carriage cake. Wow, all homemade. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Hi. Gordon's eating your carrot cake right now as we speak. Oh, oh vey. The last thing that people eat is dessert. And if the dessert sucks, that's bad. Oh, you scared me. Don't come around the corner like that. Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. First of all, that is delicious. Awesome. Now, whose recipe is that? Mine. Can I have it? No, if for a price. Everything for a price. For a price. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. That's made <laughs> with passion. As much as you have. You make love to that carrot cake, don't you? Well, I'm getting divorced, so it's the cake or... Uh... <laughs> I'll go for the cake. Marcel. Marcel. Are you expediting? Yes, you are. 
could open up, at least talk. The kitchen staff, we do so much better without Marcelo. Stop putting the tickets that I'm already starting there here because it's all fucking me up. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And he is not appetizer. It is an appetizer. Oh, yeah, you're right. What is that for? That's for uh, A3. A3? A3? Yes. No, I need it. Look. Clearly, Marcelo has no control of his kitchen. Oh, my God. Not only is food slowly making its way to the dining room, the dishes are not exactly being well received. That's terrible. That is horrible. Really? What's wrong with the chef? What's up with this empanadas? Can I have a regular stuff? All right. I'll be happy to help them fix that for you, OK? What's the matter? They're undercooked. They want them cooked a little bit more. Oh. Marcelo, please keep checking that everything that comes around we is We check it already. Sure we check it already. We got it. We got it. We got it. Marcelo doesn't expedite. He doesn't have consistency. He just like sent things out just to get him out of the way. They ordered the shrimp quesadilla, but the gentleman says that he really doesn't like it. Would you like to order something instead of that? I don't want you go, to go home hungry. All right. No problem. I'm sorry, guys. Let me have this. You should guys should know better. How can you allow food to come out like that nasty? No nasty at all. I mean, we are doing something. You're going to tell me the quesadilla is supposed to be crispy, and it was like soggy, no, and it was crispy. flat it's on not the dish. It it's was not soggy. Crispy. It's supposed to be nicer. The bad part of Kata is that she's not actually hands-on. She's just adding fire. You're trying to sabotage this. She's making the situation worse. No, but you're not doing it right. I'm not painting. You're not doing it right. Perfect. 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 Marcello, a beaten man. He's soulless. If that's expediting, well, he may as well be sat at home. Kata, well, she can definitely talk, but she's not doing anything. Talk, 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 but nothing being done. Kitchen's in chaos, and the restaurant is fucking sinking. It's, it's cold. I don't want it. It's, I'm done. Chef Ramsay has seen enough of this service. Customers are unhappy. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. And there's chaos in the kitchen. So he decides to take a break from the madness and check out the food storage. Look at all this food in here. And what he finds is an outrageous amount of food for a failing restaurant. How much produce is in this fridge? Trays and trays of produce. Look, and they put the fresh one at the front, and at the back, you've got the squidgy one. Marinated skirt. No, oh, tilapia. That is what you call dry chicken. That's more chicken. There must be thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food here. If their cash flow is in the shit, this is a big reason why.